What's up guys? I'm gonna be filling you in on a little trick that I like to do to basically keep users logged in all the time with refresh tokens. So they, as long as a user, this is how I want it to work. Uh, I'm giving them a refresh token that will last a week. And if they don't log in within a week, they have to re-log in. But if they log in uh, once, and then they're constantly coming to the site, they should never have to log in unless they haven't used the site within a week. That's how I'd like it to work. And right now we're never refreshing the token, at least in the uh, front end in React, unless uh, they log in. So I'm gonna show you a little trick I like to do so we're always refreshing the token without any work at all. And if you don't have the code for this server or for the React stuff, I have links in the description below you can get and take a look at. So the trick we're gonna use is afterware. So this is something that Apollo client gives you that is run after a query or mutation. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna use this. So it's kind of the opposite of middleware. Middleware is run every time before a quest. This is run after a quest. And you'll notice on the server, here's the server code. I was actually, this chunk of code right here, what was this doing? Where I'm exposing headers and then I'm passing these back, right? And you'll notice this is with the response. And the reason I'm doing this is I actually wanna pass the refreshed token and the refreshed, refreshed token back to the client so they can automatically store that in local storage. We're not doing that right now, but we can be doing that with, lo with this afterware. So we're gonna actually look at the response from the server, see if they gave us an X token, an X refresh token, and if they did, we add it to local storage automatically. So that'll automatically refresh us. Because you notice right here, we're checking um, if the token's good. If not, we try refreshing it, and if it gets refreshed, we actually just pass it right back to the client. All right, so on the client side, what are we gonna do? So we don't need this stuff here. This is just the basically bare bones of what afterware looks like. So we say use afterware, and by the way, you'll notice that this is an array right here, um, and there's an object inside. You can add as many afterwares as you want, same with middlewares. We only need one, and in the response, we want to look at the header. And actually, I'm not sure if it's header or headers. Um, I think it's headers. Uh, actually, you know what, let's, let's just console this so you can, you can see what this looks like. So I'm gonna console.log response and show, you'll see like when this is actually fired off and what it looks like. So we can see the response and you notice it only consoled once because we aren't making one request. And if we open up, we can see it here. Okay, it is headers. So we're gonna wanna read the headers here. We didn't refresh any tokens, that's fine. Um, but if there was headers, we would want to. So headers here, and I'm gonna say const token is gonna be equal to headers.get and then x token and then refresh token is x dash refresh token. Now the, the name here and here match up with what we're passing back here. All right, so we can grab those two, and then we're just gonna do a little check. If token, because you notice sometimes we don't pass it back. If refresh token, then we're gonna say local storage dot set item token, token, and same thing for refresh token. Oops. All right, so this what it'll do is just as the user is using the site and making requests, going to different pages, every time they send a request to the GraphQL server, um, the server's gonna check if the token's valid. If it's not, it's gonna try refreshing it. If it does refresh the token, sends it back to the client, and then our client side runs this afterware where we actually just add the refresh token to local storage. That way the user can just keep adding, you know, keep using the site without having to log in. Now, if they don't use it for a week, that's fine, right? Um, then we just say, you have to go back and log in because this code will never get run to refresh, add new tokens to local storage. So that's how I like to handle this. You'll notice 
just look how little code we much look, look how little code we wrote. This right here on the client side, this on the server side, and now we're handling. We don't have to call refresh token ourselves um, on different places, on different page, on app load. We don't have to worry about any of that. Just like a little thing we do after every query, and doesn't take a lot of resources at all. So I really like doing it this way. Quick little trick for you guys. I recommend trying this out if you use refresh tokens. Um, and that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. The code will be up on GitHub. And I'll see you guys in the next video.